think it's important for us to play the best teams in the country that we can play. I think it prepares us for the Big East, which is one of the, uh, the most difficult leagues in the country, uh, home or away. Every, every game is tough. And that prepares us for the NCAA tournament. So I, I think it's really important to build your team so that you're facing really good players and, and really good teams early in the season so that as you progress, your team's going to get better. Well, we do. We're playing five really good teams out of the, the power conferences, and I think it's going to be great for us to see those different kinds of teams. You know, you've got some teams with some great post players, you've got some teams with some great guard play, and you have teams with both. So I, I think it's, it's really good to challenge yourself. I think we're going to be on TV quite a bit. Uh, we're going to get a chance to see us across the country, and we're going to be traveling. We're playing a, a lot of games with a Saturday, Monday, or even a Sunday, Tuesday, which really prepares us for the NCAA tournament. It's kind of a historic moment, I think, for women's basketball to be able to play a game of this magnitude with, with the, the military and Daniel Green, who played at Notre Dame, was injured in combat in Iraq. Uh, we're, we're sort of dedicating this to her. I think that you see in our uniforms it'll be reflected. She's going to be coming with us. We're just so thrilled because uh, we're so thankful to the military and all they've done for us to support us, and we certainly support our troops. Well, so we've had some great games against UCLA, and they beat us here last time we played, and, uh, and I think we still remember that. So we're, we're anxious to get back out there and play them. They're just an excellent team, very well coached. They have some great talent. And, and as a bonus to the team, we get to stay overnight and go to the USC football game the next day. So I think the girls will have a really good trip out there. Well, Baylor's a great team, and with everybody back from a team that went 40-0, and um, they're going to be a formidable opponent. We lost three starters, four seniors. It's going to be difficult for us that early in the season, I think, to be at our peak. So I think it's going to be a great chance to see if this is the best team in college basketball. How far do we have to go to be able to beat them? I know. They are they're so well coached. Sharon Versip does just an outstanding job with them. We, we always have a good game with them. Uh, glad that we have them at home. That's, that's always uh, helpful for us. But they have just about everybody back from a very good team. And that will be a, a really good test for us heading into the Big East. You know, it's great to open the season with Connecticut and then finish the season with Connecticut. There are kind of bookends on the season. So we'll have a really good chance to see because this is a team for me. We're going to get better every game. Uh, I think the team you see in November is not going to be nearly as good as what you see in January and what you see in March. So I think it'll be a great measuring stick for us. Play them early. They're going to be very good. And then play them again late and see if we've gotten any better. Well, I, I wasn't excited about playing Tennessee in the conference schedule last year, but it worked out so well for us because it really gave the team a little bit of a break from teams that we see every year and who know us so well to play a team that's a little bit different. So I think it'll be the same this year, another great measuring stick for us. They're not another team that's uh, just a, a great team, and they'll get great fan support down there. And for having a big Monday game, um, it's exciting for our fans to be on ESPN as well. Well, I, I think it's a lot of fun. I, I just I love playing them. I think everybody gets excited for the game. I know it's a great game for TV. We've had a couple of overtime games recently. Uh, for us to be able to beat them twice in a row in the Final Four has just been amazing. Uh, after playing them so many times, we do know each other extremely well. Scouting's a little bit easier. There, there's not a, a lot of uh, things that players are going to do differently than they've done all season long. But they've got so much talent. We have so much respect for their program. It's, uh, it's, it's a real great duel. I, I think it's two gunslingers going at each other. Nobody's going back back down and we're going to play till the final buzzer. Well, I think Skylar is in the gym with the freshmen and I think that's a huge help because she's really helping them come along to know what, what to expect. This is going to be difficult for them. You're coming out of high school, we need you to play right away. Uh, we need these three to really contribute in a big way. You know, we lost such a big class last year. We've got some good players coming back. Kayla McBride playing extremely well. Um, she's somebody that is going to have a phenomenal year. I think she's an All-American right now. Uh, can't wait to, to get started with her. Natalie Chama coming off the Olympic experience. So we've got three really experienced players. And then around them, we're going to play some, uh, some different people. So I think that it's important for our freshmen to be ready, the sophomores and juniors. They've got to be ready to step up. Oh!